What's going on guys, Chachi come back at you with another video. Today we have another sneak peek update in the new Axie Infinity Origin update, which is the main focus on arena modes. So with the first picture here that we see on the screen, this is the actual three new arena modes. So you have the practice mode, which will allow you to just practice out and test out new teams. Again, you'll have to have the actual axes to be able to practice them. So unfortunately, you won't be able to use, you know, meta teams if you don't already own the axie, which would be a cool feature I'd like to see. So that way you can kind of test out a team before you buy it. The second arena mode is what we have right now. This is the normal PvP. It costs one stamina to enter into a PvP game. This is where you can earn your victory stars, which we'll get into in a moment, as well as your SLP rewards. And the third and final one is going to be the tournament mode, which this will either be held by the actual Axie team or other community managers and event holders that want their tournament promoted on the actual Axie page. You're able to enter in these tournaments and possibly get some huge, huge returns. So again, like what we already talked about, we have the practice mode here. This is going to be allowed to hone in your skills with new teams. You can play an unlimited amount of time and you'll actually be able to earn one EXP. Again, we don't really know what the XP is going to be used for or how much this really is, but I'm assuming it's a very, very, very minuscule thing because you're probably earning 20 or so in the actual PvP battles. So if you guys have missed out on other sneak peek or update reveals, you don't know this, but actually one player is going to get to start first. They'll have one energy less than the second person who actually starts. So the second person who goes to make up for not being able to attack first, they get an extra energy, which is kind of cool. This is negated from then on out, so it's not like the first person's always going to only have like three energy and the other one's going to have four. It's going to be three and four, and then it'll go back to three and three for the rest of the game. So in practice mode, you'll actually get 60 seconds to enter into the battle instead of the 45, which is going to be in the ranked mode. And a cool thing, just to, you know, keep away AFK people, if you're inactive for two turns, then you'll actually forfeit the match. This is nice because then it doesn't crowd up the entire practice mode with people and I think they should add something that if they are AFK for, you know, two games in a row or two games out of 10 games, then they get a cooldown or something like a 10 minute cooldown that they're not allowed to re-enter in. Now we have the battle log here. I like the blue and the red and the text here, but the axes look like total doo-doo. I'm not even going to lie about that. I don't really like how they're shown there. They kind of look weird maybe like they would in the land gameplay but i don't know i think that's just something they can tweak but that's okay and one last thing is that there is no ranking system or leaderboards for practice mode hence the name practice mode so here is where the juicy stuff starts to actually get into play the ranking system is going to have ranks instead of just having mmr you're going to have these tier systems so there's actually going to be eight ranks which you can see here egg chick hare boar wolf bear tiger dragon and challenger and of these little ranks, there's going to be four tiers, starting at the lowest tier at IV or four, then three, two, one, and then you're able to go into the next one once you have enough of these star points. So now you may be wondering, what are victory stars? Well, I'm glad you asked because these are what's actually used to climb up your ranked mode. So instead of MMR, you're actually gonna have these victory stars. So right now, here's just an example. If you win a game, you may get two. If you draw, you get zero. And if you lose, you may only lose one. Now, if you are in, let's say, Egg IV and you collect enough victory stars, which would be three for that tier, so you win two games in a row, then you're going to be able to move up to tier number three. Now, same thing applies if you're at zero victory points in tier three and you lose a game, you will be dropped down to tier number four. Now, you can't go any lower than tier number four, and when you climb all the way up into Challenger, that's kind of where the leaderboard goes into play. You'll get a nice little reward, which is awesome to see. And then from there, you'll actually put onto a leaderboard where you're collecting those victory stars, which has a unique formula for your MMR or your victory star, which we'll go to in a moment. So just like what we have right now, at the start of each new season, players will be reset to egg IV and their victory stars reduce to zero. Now, this is where it comes kind of cool is because, you know, some people that are in Challenger, they don't want to have to just slowly grind their way up through all these tiers and get back up to Challenger. If you're on a winning streak, you'll actually get bonuses. And these streaks start at three victories or more. You'll receive one extra victory star per win streak win. So if you're on a two, a five game win streak, then you'll get two victory stars. If you're on six, you'll get three and then seven, you'll get four, so on and so forth. And like I said before, if you're in Challenger or a really high ranking, you'll actually get a bonus to start off. 
and this bonus will be reduced by one victory star each time you're promoted another rank. So if you go from egg to chick, you may go from eight bonus all the way down to a seven. So again, you can see the bonuses here. So if you're able to finish, let's say, in boar at the end of the season, you get a three victory star bonus to start off when you're in that egg. Now again, this will decrease by one until you get back up to basically where you were. Not only that, we also have a new energy system. This is one of the things that I was looking into a lot. We may see the prices of axes start to go up a little bit more because now more people are inclined to have more than just three axes on their account. So just like normal, each ranked battle is going to cost one stamina. Again, it'll, it'll be free in practice mode. We've already gone over that, but here's how it's calculated. So you're gonna have a number of starter axes. I'm pretty sure you either get three or four. So you're gonna get two energy for free. And then for every personal axe you have, so every one that you buy, you're gonna get three stamina from. So if you have 10, then you're gonna get 30 plus the four here, you'll have 34 energy and it's capped out still at 60. So just like they say here, if you want the 20 energy like you have right now, you're gonna need the four starter axes as well as six personal axes. Now up next we have the Ronin Spirit. So this is determined on how much SLP you can win from battles. So again, if you're using zero personal axes, you're only using the starter axes, you're not gonna be able to gain any SLP. Again, this number up here just represents how many personal axes you have and which tier you're gonna be. I'm not sure if they've actually released the amount of SLP per tier that I think would correlate with the, you know, the ranking system that you have up here as well. But it makes most sense just to have at least three axes, which most people have right now. So as long as you're not playing for free, you know, you can get that three and get the max bonus there, which I'm assuming is gonna be relatively similar to what we have right now, but they actually could increase the SLP because the amount of energy most people are gonna have is actually going to decrease. So now moving on to the Challenger Spear and Leaderboard. So players who reach the rank of Dragon 1 and higher will be entered into the Challenger League. So this is like what it shows, for example, this guy has 9,251 of these victory stars. So he's a very, very good player, top player, and he's in that Dragon 1. So now it goes off base the amount of victory stars collected from the Challenger Spear win. So it's kind of like a reset. Once you enter into that um, Challenger Spear, your victory points kind of like reset over. And now you're going to have this kind of fancy formula here based on a win. So let's say you're a higher ranked player and you just win. You're going to get a bonus capped at three. It's going to be 0.5 times the amount of victory stars you have. So let's say you have a thousand victory stars. It's going to be 500 minus, and then let's say this guy has 800. It's going to be 400, so you're going to get a bonus of 100. Same thing goes for the other person here. It's kind of a zero-sum game, so that person's going to get the same exact answer here, and they're going to get a penalty based off that capped at three. So again, it won't be 100 victory stars like I was using for the example, but just the math made it a little easier. And just like the other ranks, if you actually get down to where you enter into the ranking and you lose another game, you have zero victory stars, then you're going to be dropped down out of that. So coming to the end of the article here, we actually go into the tournament mode. So this is one of the most exciting features, I think, of the entire batch here. So tournaments will be held periodically after the initial alpha launch of Origin, and these will be an opportunity for players to flex their arena skills. Now, I really hope you're able to, you know, the tournament has a pool of axes and you're able to make like three teams from the actual axes in the pool. So that way you don't have to actually buy every single axe that you need because if you're realistically trying to compete in this tournament and win it, you're gonna have to spend close to like three or $4,000 to even have a shot. Because if you're only using one team, someone's just gonna counter you and then yeah, that's no fun. So going back to the main PVP arena, Ranked mode will take place over different seasons. Each season is going to last exactly two months with a one month break in between. So you're going to get four seasons a year, which is kind of a little less than what we have right now, which is sad. But hopefully, you know, the AXS rewards make up for it in the future or the first time reward and end of season rewards. So the first time reward will basically just come from every time a player is promoted to a new rank or tier for that season. So you can only complete it one time per season. And then the end of the season rewards, this is like what we have right now with the AXS. So first time rewards is kind of like Clash Royale. When you're climbing up the leaderboard, you get rewards for hitting a new rank. So that about sums up the article here. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are of it. Would you like to see a pool for the actual tournament where axes are collected and you're able to make teams 
Do you want to see any changes or do you hate something? Let me know. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.